Hi, everybody, whoever everybody is. My name is David Wheatley. I always spell my last name to make sure the E gets in there, W-H-E-A-T-L-E-Y. And uh, welcome to this podcast. This is the first podcast that I've ever done. And uh, there's no audience here except for just one or two people. So that way um, I won't know what the audience feedback is going to be. All right, I'm getting a thumbs up from one of the audience members and from both the audience members, so we are on the right track. I've been wondering for a while what my podcast would be about. In fact, people keep asking me that, and I said, I'm thinking to myself, well, why would anybody need to know that? So I thought I would start with something non-controversial, which is the city of Los Angeles, the greater Los Angeles area, and what we have going for us here. Who could complain or find fault with that? And this will be partly as if somebody's just coming to LA for the first time or considering coming to LA for the first time. So we have the Hollywood Hills, which are fairly high, but nowhere near mountains. And they run east to west out to the Pacific Ocean, which is nearby. And there are, there are houses on the hills and then there are hills. North of the Hollywood Hills, you'll find the San Fernando Valley, which is a flatland area. And north of that are some real mountains. When you go south of the Hollywood Hills, you find the actual Hollywood along with landmarks, which I will describe to you soon if I remember to do so. And south of Hollywood is another basin, the Los Angeles Basin, which is also flatlands. And south of that, there's another set of hills called Rolling Hills and Palos Verdes, and they are down there. So all of this is connected by a system of freeways, and people across the country make jokes about how LA is freeways. You spend all your time on the freeways. Well, they're largely right. We do spend almost all of our time on the freeways. The main freeway is the one that goes east and west through the Los Angeles Basin, the north end of the Los Angeles Basin, which is the highway which is freeway number 10. We also have the Hollywood Freeway, the 101, which goes from Hollywood through the Hollywood Hills to the San Fernando Valley. And at that intersection with the, the 101 keeps going, but it goes west this time just to confuse everyone. Does it go north or does it go west? That's why we spend most of our time trying to figure that out. So this highway goes west out toward the Pacific Ocean. And at that point where it does change to go west, there's another segment that goes north, which is the 170. And hardly anybody uses that or even knows what it is, or even know that it exists. At that same intersection, there's another freeway, which is the 134, which goes east past Glendale. I should have said to Glendale, but for a lot of people, it's past Glendale on their way to Pasadena or in two other places. And this also becomes the 210, which is very near where the Rose Parade takes place on the 1st of January of every year. So you might be wondering why the city of LA when there's so many other things you could talk about. Well, people come here from all over the world and they bring their insights and culture and knowledge along with them. And they take up residence anywhere from the streets and what we're calling encampments on into apartments, into private homes, and all over the place, people are residing and have street addresses. Some have no street addresses. And they converge with other people. Some are here by themselves. And so, the way people are interacting with each other is very interesting to me because I'm interacting with everybody to some degree as well. They're communicating to me through newspapers, the stories on television, a lot of data coming over the internet, social media, and I'm learning about people and I'm not always, if ever, saying anything back. So I thought this podcast could accomplish that task to say a few things back to the community and to the people that I'm seeing and whose data I'm receiving. And it's not just data like numbers, it's also photos and feelings 
emotions, points of view about things. Opinions, uh, opinions, likes and dislikes by the zillions. Each one expressed with varying levels of fervor from anger and violence down to introspective musings. But they're all important and there are a lot of them and there are a lot of people living in the greater Los Angeles area. And in a future podcast, maybe we'll have an actual number which probably fluctuates from day to day, but we won't care about that so much. And with the culture that people bring come art, comes art. So we have some paintings. I'm trying not to make too many lists, but there will be, there are paintings, uh, some public art, legal and illegal graffiti. Also public art, we might find at an airport, concourse. It's also poetry, spoken word. This is a form of spoken word. It's also music, which is a combination of notes, sounds organized in some fashion. Some would say, well, it doesn't have to be organized. Dude, what about disorganized sound? Well, that would count as well. In music that's called aleatory, which is chance music. My background is as a musician. I play the piano and the pipe organ, and I write music. And I've recorded a lot of it, and a lot of it has been played all over the world. But this is the first time when I've actually just sat down without my keyboard to rely on or fall back on and just spoken to an audience that I can only partly see, period. So there's more. As far as culture goes, I think people identify as being part of a culture or another one. I'm a part of a lot of cultures, so it can be confusing. But my intellectual mind likes to be confused, not all the time, but to be challenged. Confusion is a good way to be challenged. I try to work my way through that. In fact, this podcast will probably intentionally be confusing just so you can experience what I experience. So one of the ways that each culture expresses themselves is through their music, especially the choice of instruments. And music is a, f a form of a, an expression of the performing arts would be the category. So in with this also comes film and TV shows and anything that exists or is measured in time. And so while we might have at the extreme end of the piano, beyond the piano's range, to the right hand side, which is the high end, we have radio frequencies, ultraviolet, UHF, ultraviolet, UHF, VHF. And at the low end, we have 27 and a half cycles per second at the lowest A. And below that, we get into one cycle per second into one revolution, one cycle a day, which would be the Earth rotating on its axis to one cycle a year, which would be the Earth rotating around the sun. I don't know what the sun's doing. We're going to have to do a Google search on that and tell right away this project is going to need a researcher or a team of them standing by, ready to uh, provide the necessary information as needed. And so in a future podcast, maybe even this one, I would like to talk about social psychology and how the individuals in the cultures that are represented and within the cultures get along with each other, how the individuals are by themselves, what they think and feel and believe. And when there are two of them, which is called a dyad, D-Y-A-D, how those two get along and how a group organizes itself and gets along and how they appoint or choose leaders or allow people to lead them. And a fourth category, how an individual within that group relates to the group in its entirety. Is that person ostracized? Are they welcomed in? Are they conditionally welcomed? Uh, are they thrown out later? Are they thrown out right at the beginning? Is there a moat of alligators and crocodiles symbolically, or maybe even really, set up to keep those individuals out? And the fifth category would be group versus group, and there are lots of those around, Republicans and Democrats and left-leaners and right-leaners, maybe that's the same thing in different religious groups, racial groups, citizenship. So we will be talking about some of those and seeing how people individually 
find ways to manifest their own destinies. We'll probably spend a lot of time, too much time defining what these things are, but uh, destiny would be a good one, especially if, it, especially if you say it like this, destiny. So uh, I think this is going to be the spot where we'll pause or end this podcast. And I hope you like it so far, and I hope you're intrigued enough to want to stick around uh, for the next one. They will be released at some sort of frequency, hopefully more than more often than one year around the sun. But uh, we're going to know more about that soon. Our engineer is smiling. If you can get the engineer to smile, that's always a good sign. We're getting another thumb up from him, so that's good. And another thumb up from nearby, which is also appreciated. And we've got a, a lot of parking time out on the street, so there would be lots of time to do multiple podcasts. That's how we'll decide how long they go, is how much parking time we have. So with that, I'm signing off for today. This is David Wheatley. Thanks for listening.